today on Be Something Wonderful, how quantum forgiveness bends reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I had two amazing sessions yesterday, but very different sessions. And with one of them, it was a client that said, Tom, I've been on a, a journey now for 20 years in healing my past. And I felt like I was really getting there. And now I've been watching some of your videos about that there is no past. And, and I had to, to call you because I really, I really want to talk about this. So this is one situation of a, where she believes that there's things to heal that there's things to, there's loose ends in the past to fix before she can move on and create a reality. I've touched on this in others, but this is a real big con contrast here between two very different sessions. The other session were these two brothers. <laughs> one was 18 and one was 22. So they're the younger guys. And there was nothing to heal. They weren't talking about the past. They weren't talking about grievances or problems that they had with anybody or, or stuff that they did that went wrong, that they got to fix. It was just all about creating their own reality. How do they become more like Jesus and the masters? To put money in their account now, to, to create the reality they want, to have the college degree now without going through college. All of that. Very fun. Both sessions were fun but in a very different way. So really, guys, with these two brothers, these two kids, great kids, that's who we all are. We all are just these kids that, that, that there's nothing to heal, there's nothing to fix, there's nothing to repair. That's what, that's real, that's what forgiveness really means. That's quantum forgiveness because it can put you anywhere in infinity at any time to enjoy any part of all there is that you want. When you just let go of that baggage, when you let go of those uh, illusionary grievances and these things that you want to fix and repair about yourself and about the people around you, about the past, so big. And so it was really perfect to have that second session with these two brothers. A delight to talk to. Thanks, guys. You know who you are. <laughs> so happy to have you on the channel as well as I'm happy to have everybody. But it, I, I just want to say that they're a mirror. These two guys are a mirror of who we are, right? We don't have anything to fix. It's all about just having fun in this quantum playground. So let's unpack this today like we never have before. So here's what A Course in Miracles says. Very powerful. I just want to read this to you. A journey to God is merely the reawakening of the knowledge of where you always, where you are always, and what you are forever. Just hold that thought for a second. A journey to God is a journey who you are, really. Right? It's the reawakening of the knowledge. It's, in other words, it's remembering, right, of where you are always and what you are forever. There's no journey. It means you're already there and you always have been that. Do you get it, guys? There really is no journey. It's a journey without distance to a goal that has never changed. In other words, there is no journey. There's nothing to fix, repair, or, or, or any of that, right? Truth can only be experienced. So we, we talk about this a lot. I love this line because I get, you, there's a lot of questions. How do I do this? How do I get that? How, how does this work? And we can only point to it. All of us can only point to it. You've got to experience it, right? It cannot be described and it cannot be explained. We try describing it. We try explaining it in all different ways on this channel, right? And it's fun. But really, what happens It's when you have those aha moments, when you have those moments of getting it and understanding so it's there, that knowledge is within you to awaken, to remember, right? There's no journey to heal, to improve, to become enlightened or to fix yourself. You are already perfectly enlightened. You're already there. You're like the two brothers. They're already there. They're just having fun, pointing at things they want and bringing them into their reality. How fun is that, right? It's all here and now. So let's, let's hit this, guys. No matter what you're going through, right? So you've said it's been a journey of healing 
my past for several years. I think you said 20 years, right? But I just want to say there is no healing. There's nothing to fix and there's nothing to make whole. You are whole. It's about seeing, perceiving, and really remembering it differently. And I'm going to get to this quote from the movie Solaris again, the remake in 2022, because it really is powerful. It's not about healing anything. You don't need to, you're not broken. You don't need to be fixed. I've said this many times, but never like today in the contrast of these two sessions yesterday. Rather, it's about letting go. Hear this. It's letting go of the memory or that imaginal past or those imaginal images, because everything's an image. Or, or your imaginal past experience. It's about letting that go and, and, and creating a new image, right? Looking at a new image. Remember, every image has an address in infinity. All things exist. So you can look at and remember anything you want, right? So that's, that's what forgiveness means. It's the re realization of the oneness with all that is, everything and everybody. We kind of, we kind of like go, oh yeah, forgiveness. But forgiveness is huge. It's like gratitude. It's, it's a base. It's, it's the basis of everything. But, it, it, but it's not forgiving anybody for wrongdoing or even forgiving yourself for wrongdoing. It's none of that. It's a realization that, you're, that there is not, you are one with God. You're one. You never left God. Right? You're, you, it, it, remember, you're just remembering things wrong and you're creating them. Right? You're just remembering things wrong. You're even remembering your past wrong. Right? This is what uh, Chris Kelvin, the character in Solaris, played by George Clooney in the remake. And I know everyone says, no, the original is better. I get it. But I'm talking about the remake here. I remembered her wrong. Somehow I was wrong about everything. This is when he turned, you got to have to see the movie, but uh, basically he returned back to, quote, earth life. Right? I remembered her wrong. Somehow I was wrong about everything. Do you hear this? He, it, it was all an illusion. All that stuff he made up, all of it were, was just remembering things wrong. That's what you're doing, guys, when you're not forgiving somebody or when you're holding on grievances or when you're not forgiving yourself and you're holding on to things that you consider were mistakes in the past or things that went wrong. You're just remembering it wrong. Somehow, you're wrong about everything. When you think that you have to heal something, or fix something, or be better, or get to an improvement before you can have everything you want. You're already there. So powerful, right? And then, and then in the, in the same movie, the, the character, his ex-wife, Rhea and Solaris, we don't have to think like that anymore. We're together now. Everything, we're, everything we've done is forgiven, everything. This is when they're back together and, and and the character, Chris Kelvin, doesn't know if he's dead or alive. And he says, am I dead or alive? And she says, you don't have to think like that anymore. We're together now. Everything we've done is forgiven. Everything. That's a 3D duality question. <laughs> right? There is no dead or alive. You are an infinite being. You're multidimensional. You don't have to think like that anymore. Right? You are whole. You are complete. So powerful. Right? True healing is the recognition that there's nothing to forgive. Wow. This is the idea of 70 times 7, where Jesus talks about forgiving uh, your brother 70 times 7, meaning continual forgiveness, eternal forgiveness. Right? Remember, God, God doesn't forgive you because God doesn't condemn you in the first place. Right? Unifying your heart and mind. It's healing your thoughts of separation and lack or belief in separation and lack, right? Belief that there's a journey to make to heal yourself, to correct past mistakes, past grievances, past hurts, right? Unify, it's about unifying your heart and mind. That's the real healing of thoughts of separation and lack, right? But remember, your mind's already unified. This is, it's an illusion. It's your thought about it, right? When you want, oh, this is what A Course in Miracles says, when you want only love, you'll see nothing else. It's because we're desiring something else <laughs> besides love and we still think we got to fix ourselves or we're holding on to, to something that someone did us wrong or we did somebody else wrong and we're holding on to all this baggage when all that you really need to desire is love because when you only want love, you see nothing else. Wow. 
so powerful. That's the true divine desire behind all desires. That's the unfiltered pure desire. That's what you might call your heart's desire. Your true heart's desire is just to see one only love. Because when you have love, that's all you need. And you are already love. So you'll see nothing else. That is what really, really powerful. So there's only now, and now changes everything. Quantum, so forgiveness, guys, is a quantum leap. It puts you into everything you want. When you let go of everything that's not you, that's unlike love, you leap into everything you want, right? I know one of you was mentioning reality, transurfing, statesman on the, on the channel. I'll get to that. But this idea that you need to, that you can't leap into your reality, right? I think you were thinking more in parallel realities, that what you really want is far away from you. But remember, there is no distance in infinity. It's all now and it's all here. So when you forgive, in other words, when you let go everything that's not really you, that's unlike love, you make that quantum leap into everything you want. Wow, that's powerful. When you forgive, you're revising and rewriting the past because there is no past. Only now, hear this. We've talked about revision, very powerful technique. We've talked about rewriting your story. But hear this, when you forgive, quantum forgiveness, this is why forgiveness is quantum. You are revising and rewriting the past because there is no past, there's only now. So you, you, you change the whole matrix. You, you, re, you rewrite history, your history, because there is no history. Right? Remember what A Course in Miracles says, the only history wouldn't exist if we didn't keep making the same mistakes over and over again. <laughs> right? Woo! Forgiveness, that's quantum forgiveness. With forgiveness, hear this, you transcend all realities. Past hurts and grievances dissolve back into the field of infinite possibilities. It's like you uncollapse the wave and return to quantum potential. Do you hear this? We talk about quant collapsing the wave of probabilities when a part, when, when you observe, right? When there's an observer, that's the observer effect that quantum physics talks about. Well, here we're talking about forgiveness uncollapses the wave. It puts you back into your potential, pure potential, to then again choose what you want without all the baggage, right? Like these two guys, <laughs> like these two young guys that I had on the uh, that's on the channel in my session yesterday, right? You choose again, creating a new image or memory from your higher self. Wow. From your higher self, from your divine self, right? That's how you truly bend time and space. That's how you bend reality. It's not about changing it, healing it, fixing it. It's about choosing it. So big. So I just want to point this out. This is you. You are a multidimensional being standing in the center of infinite realities. But at the same time, there is a part of you experiencing those infinite realities and infinite versions of yourself. You're standing in the middle, but there is a part of you in all of these realities. You're multidimensional. So, so it's not really about going anywhere. It's about deciding what reality, what do you want to be now? Do you see it? It's, it's, they're not even parallel. Because I know one of you are going, well, what about the, the distance that Vadim Zeeland talks about? Right? And, and again, every spiritual teacher has a different view. They're all valid. But what I'm saying is, you know, they're all there. You're standing at the intersection of all these realities. And in fact, they cross through you. So I just wanted to show this effect, but these realities really all cross through you. That's the infinite you. Right? And I know in that session yesterday, and I've heard this before, that this, this, um, this woman, she said, you know, I, I just feel like I've lost a lot of time in my life, feeling a lot of regret, a lot of heaviness. You can't lose time and you can't waste time. You're infinite. That's why quantum forgiveness is powerful. It puts you back in the center of everything where you're no longer in one of those realities where you're in one of these realities where you regret everything, right? You're like these, these two, remember, we're all, we're all infinite beings, like the two kids that I talked to on the channel as well, right? They, they haven't accumulated any of that baggage, right? You're not ever losing time. Time, hear this, time is the experiencing, is the experience. 
<laughs> is the experience, not experiencing, of rearranging parts of all that is. Do you hear that? That's what the time is the experience of rearranging the parts of all that is. Time doesn't exist. What does it really mean? It means we're just rearranging infinity. That gives you the experience that you're moving through time. But you're not. You're just deciding what reality, what do you want to see now? And that gives us the perception of the illusion of time. You're just rearranging the furniture in infinity. <laughs> not really furniture, but your life. You can do anything you want. You can visit any of these, right? You can never lose time or anything else in infinity. So you haven't lost any time. You just got to let go. You've got, you've got to experience that quantum forgiveness and let all that go. And you immediately are back in the center of everything that's possible. Your pure potential, no matter what you've experienced or what you remember, you're just remembering it wrong. Just like Chris Calvin says, I remembered her wrong. Right? This is his wife who, who, who in 3D reality committed suicide, right? And he was thinking of that. He was remembering her wrong. You're just remembering it wrong, right? You can never lose time or anything else in infinity, right? Chris Kelvin was so focused on her dying by suicide and, and, and feeling fault and guilt and grief for it. He was remembering everything wrong, right? So don't hold on to any of that, right? Time is the experience of rearranging parts of all it is. You can never lose time or anything else in infinity. You can't lose time. It's impossible to feel and you can't get it wrong. Choose again. Now is the only time. Do you hear the power here, guys? You can't lose time. It's impossible to feel. You can't get it wrong. You are infinite being. You are here, right? So, each new moment in now is, is really a proverbial clean slate. That's the proverbial clean slate. Each moment in now, it really is. That's what forgiveness does. It puts you in the, it gives you power, that quantum superpower to enter any reality you want right now. In each new now moment, you're complete, divine, whole, full of love. You are everything, everywhere, all the time. You're holographic and non-local. I pointed to this yesterday, in that, that movie, Everything, Everywhere, All the Time, right? But that's you. You're complete. There's nothing to do. There's no journey to get there, right? Negative feelings, regret, regret resentment, frustration about the past and or anxiety about the future makes no sense with this knowing. It makes no sense. You bend reality by choosing forgiveness and choosing to see reality through an unfiltered lens. That's what quantum forgiveness does. It, it cleans up, it, it may, it, you, no longer, you get rid of the filters. Now you're seeing through the divine eyes, right? It makes you whole, aligns you with your heart and mind, aligns your heart and mind, right? That's really what we mean by alignment, right? Forgiveness is alignment. You align immediately with that greater you, with that dimensionally larger you. Wow, so powerful. Forgiveness enables you to make a quantum leap to your desired reality, right? It heals the split between what you desire and what you don't want. Whew. Hear this, that's the split. You're hanging on to what you don't want. It makes no sense, right, when you think about that. Quantum forgiveness heals that split, so-called heals, right? There's no, it's not really healing anything, right? It's just letting go everything that's not you, those resentments, those grievances, those regrets, whatever it is from the past. You, you let it all go, that, and, and now you're no longer split between what you desire and what you don't want. As you forgive the imagined past, you accept and move immediately to your new desired reality because it's been there the whole time waiting for you, waiting for your acceptance, right? Remember, you're standing in the middle of it. Let's see if I can find that. It's somewhere, but I want to show this to you. There you are. You're standing in the middle of it. It's been there the whole time waiting for you to accept it. So your old beliefs and assumptions, those past images, die with that old you. 
as you enter and occupy the new version of yourself in new reality. That's what Neville Goddard gets at by being born again or letting, letting the old man go, right? Detaching from your old state and attaching to the new reality, the new you, right? That is how quantum forgiveness bends time. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. Uh, we have a Facebook group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors. That's at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. You can also visit us on, on, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. And also our website at tomkaren.com or be somethingwonderful.com. With great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude. Until next time, this is Tom. See you soon.